Hey everyone, I'm Jess here, and before we start with the video, I have a quick announcement. My school is currently holding a fundraising event called Relay for Life. We are fundraising money to give towards the Canadian Cancer Society. My school goal is to raise $10,000. Cancer affects a lot of people, whether it's someone in your family, or it's a friend, whether you personally know that person, or you've heard of someone. Cancer affects almost everyone. The Canadian Cancer Society puts their funds towards research in finding the cure for cancer. So if you would like to support this cause, I have a link down below, and make sure to support the UNO team. Thank you for listening. Hey everyone, I'm Jess here, and welcome to a review video. <laughs> Happy belated Mother's Day to all the mothers, aunts, sisters, even maybe the strong females out there in the world. Happy Mother's Day. Belated Mother's Day. <laughs> so today I am going to review this stylus that I bought in one of the videos. If you guys can guess the video in five seconds. The longest walk video. Ooh, if you got it correct. Good job. <laughs> and if you did watch that video, you would have saw that I bought the black one. And this is actually my sister's. Because I currently lost mine and I have a feeling I know where it is. I'm really scared of it opening. Okay. It's okay. Oh, it <laughs> fell. It was my stylus. Oh, okay. So AJ, if you're watching this, please check if it's there. <laughs> okay, so I have tested out this stylus before on my phone and created these art pieces on Snapchat. And while using it, I realized that it's a bit difficult to do really small art on my phone. So with this stylus, it actually isn't a firm tip. It is actually empty in here and it's squishy. And then there's something flat underneath this that is what's gonna be the stylus. I don't know what to call it. The point. I don't know. So this makes it a bit difficult for me to do something like art on my phone because the screen's so small and when pressing down you don't actually have a specific point. Press it and then you have to see where it started and then continue. But I'm still gonna try to do some art with this video. Oh, with this stylus. <laughs> but I'm still gonna try to do art with this stylus. So if you didn't watch the video, I suggest to go watch it right now because why not? <laughs> but to catch you up, this stylus was around ten dollars canadian found at a staples in canada i'm not sure if they sell these in other countries but it's a decent price for what it is <laughs> it's really far <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah I'm going to try to show you guys what I mean by putting it down and not having a specific point. Like using a drawing tablet stylus or the Apple Pencil. And I'm going to turn on the camera over here and show you guys. So I'll tell you guys more about the app later on when I start screen recording. So this is Adobe Sketch. And I put the brush size pretty high and I'm going to draw it's not so difficult to see with that brush because well it wasn't so hard to see because the size is so big but let's try something smaller so I don't know if you can see but as I draw since the size is so small, it's sort of, it's really hard to see where the line started. But it seems like when I put it down, it seems to be the middle <laughs> of where I 
push down and then start dragging. Oh, and disclaimer, when using this, you gotta press quite hard when applying pressure. I'm not sure if this stylus was made for doing art from the results. It might not be. From my experience, this stylus is more better for like scrolling or like if you have gloves on, especially when you have cold winters like here in Canada, which is still sort of happening even though it's spring and it's so cold still and you want to wear your gloves, but you want to use your phone. But you don't want frostbite. So you just whip this out and you apply some pressure and you uh, swipe. <laughs> but we're gonna try to do some art with this. So right now I am going to switch up the camera. And now you guys should be seeing footage of Adobe Sketch. So this right here is what Adobe Sketch looks like. Don't judge the apps. <laughs> and it is a pretty cool application. It comes with layers and these five default brushes when you start. And then down here is the eraser tool. It is quite easy to add a layer. When you add layers, you can either do a sketch layer or an image layer. And then also you can add shapes, which I have not done before, but maybe we'll do today and then you can hide the layers like that or you can just hide everything using that button over here to add more brushes you can press this o add button over here and you can scroll and see but when doing that you replace one of the brushes in the slots so you can only have five brushes at a time which i think is plenty there is an undo button which you can undo anything and everything so something like photoshop you can only undo the first thing before it starts repeating but with this you can undo quite a lot but there is a limit i'm not sure what the limit is but there is one <laughs> this app is actually pressure sensitive so um how should i um, I don't know how to show you guys, but something like that where it senses when you start doing things. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I'm so bad at explaining, but it's pretty cool and more effective with something like an apple pencil. So now we're gonna try doing some art. So with today's goal, I am gonna try to recreate this art piece that I did around grade five, I believe. It's really rough. The art isn't the greatest, but please don't judge. That's when I was still starting out on drawing. I discovered a manga book and I've been practicing ever since. Well, my art style has changed, <laughs> but that was when I really did start getting into art. Oh, my voice. <sighs> so we're gonna try creating that today. So I don't know exactly where to start. I guess maybe I'll start with a rough sketch. So you do the usual pinching to zoom, zoom in, zoom out, and let's start. <laughs> well, since this is just a sketch, I guess I won't pay so much attention to perfection just yet. <laughs> I don't know. I like doing good circles. Circle. 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 <laughs> if I do it slower, will it make it better or worse? better <laughs> so I am gonna draw what I do as humans <laughs> ooh ooh no <laughs> eh let's just erase that over there oh it's so small <laughs> and Try. Oh, wrong, wrong, <laughs> wrong one. 
That's how do I have the arms? Something like that. Maybe. So I did it a bit too big, but no need to fear. You don't have to um, restart. <laughs> you can just use the transform and change it to the size you want. Bam. Art. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to zoom in a bit. Or, yeah, just a bit. And we're going to... How should I do the wings? The wings is... Do something... Oh! Something like that, maybe? Maybe, maybe? And yeah. Sort of. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually going to bring up the image right now because I haven't been looking at it. It's not here. <laughs> well, I'm going to draw it from memory, guys. So, um, one side was the devil, one side was the angel. I think this side was the angel side. This side over here, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> um... Uh, oops. <laughs> um, well, it is what it is now. Okay, let's, let's do this as the devil side, I guess. Oh, wait, that was 3D. <laughs> so, devil side. I don't think it should be this tall of a wing, or is it? I don't. No, but I remember you gotta draw the wing like that a bit. And something like this, right? Right? And then the devil wing has that like thingy. Oof. Great art. <laughs> and then the angel wing is. Folded, yes, and it also has this like curvy. No, maybe like that. No, <laughs> how do I? I just gotta, oh gosh, like that. And it's just a sketch, we'll keep going. And then that's ooh, wow, shapes. <laughs> Um, I'm actually going to make this smaller again and see if, like, this will help me create it bit. Oh, no, that's not how the wing should go. I forgot how the wing should look like. Um, let's extend that over there. I seriously forgot. I'm trying to do this from memory. Oh no. Oh gosh. Um, this one doesn't look so bad over there. But it seems like this one has to be farther. Sure. <laughs> and then now the angel wing looks really small compared to it. But like it's folded. Budget. <laughs> So we're gonna draw some torso torso now. Did I have anything special with the arms going on? Was one of them holding fire? I believe so. <laughs> but this person was wearing a dress. It was a female. Yes, I drew a female, didn't I? Oh gosh, no. Let's make it cartoony and all triangle -y. Yay! <laughs> okay, things are going decently. I'm just gonna try to refine that shape over there. That sort of made it worse, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, the struggles, the struggles, the struggles. 
Okay, so I have a flowy dressy thingy and now I gotta think about pose. This side was definitely holding something was weren't they? Uh that's what I'm trying to do, but not that big. No, <laughs> that looks so weird. Um, like that. No, it looks weird compared to it, but it should be like, but it's not. Help. <laughs> um, maybe if I bring it over. No, too thick. Like this, and then like that. No, maybe, possibly, I'll fix that later. And let's try to mimic that on the side. Oh gosh. Gosh darn it. <laughs> like that. But then the arm has to go like that. I guess, sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> so these are like arms, and I don't think I'll draw hands because I'm just not good at that. Every artist draw hates drawing hands, it's like a stereotype. <laughs> and it's a very true stereotype for me. So let's do some wishies. I don't know how physics work. And like, I don't know how to draw like accurate, like, how do I explain it? Accurate folds and all of that. So I'm a really amateur artist. I mean, you guys could probably tell by now. <laughs> and like, yeah, I'm just gonna. Keep going with the flow. That looks a decent, but it's missing some tuggle lines. Oh, wrong brush. <laughs> um, I don't know how things work. No, and it looks like a weird flower, but that would be a cool design. But no, I don't know how things work. Shade. Um, sure. Help me. <laughs> eh, eh, no, that looks. Help. <laughs> uh, I sort of want to keep that. That No, I lost it already. Redo. No, I can't redo it because I got. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so I'm failing really hard. But that's okay. So let's draw their feetsies, shall we? Um, in the drawing I did before, their legs were, oops, their legs were in like this type of position where it was bent because why not? That's what their body is underneath the dress. Is that even atonically correct? Sort of. It looks correct to my mind because I don't know autonomy well. <laughs> Anatomy, a ton, help. <laughs> so something like this is what my mind was picturing. Is it supposed to sort of? <sighs> yes, that was what was happening underneath the dress. They had their leg perched up. Why? I don't know. Let's draw feet, shall we? Um, so we could either draw, oh, that's not a pencil. So we can either draw feet dangling down, or we can draw the feet like straight like that, and then this one facing down. This one, this pose satisfies me. Is it making you cringe? I hope not. Is it? Probably. <laughs> so
So let's try to fix this way now. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get really stressed out about my art real soon, real quick. Um, I don't know what to do with their outfit. No, dresses don't have that. Dresses are like, uh, strappy strappy. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I don't wear dresses enough. I don't know how this works. Um, is that even good spacing? Sure. Um, so much. This is just a rough sketch. This is gonna be a long video. Unless I time lapse. But... Um, okay, so this is where the dress. Gotta add some oomph because it's on top of things. Physics. <laughs> so that's the flowy dress outline so that I can distinguish it a bit more. And like rough lines always add character to sketches. Yes. Sure, make myself believe that. Um, I gotta fix the arms because they're too thick. <laughs> but this one's supposed to be a bit thick because it's... No! <laughs> it's being, being brought forward towards the camera point of view thing. But it looks too big still. Let's try that for this. Will that satisfy my brain? Sure. <laughs> and let's erase this. So that's like the elbows are in there, and that's like that, and erase, erase, and draw again. And now we have the person going like this. I don't help. They're a crab now. They're a crab now. <laughs> so continue. Oh, continue. <laughs> We're now gonna um, fix up this side, I guess. So I remember the angel wings had like a small layer of small ones, then one, two, and then it mixed over here. I remember this side of the feather, I mean, wing has like that little area. As that continue, that pattern continued over, and then it was the same um, pattern of feathers. But now I gotta space it out so that it's more curvy, like that. And then this is good enough. I mean, this wing over here looks a bit lopsided, so. That Fix that. Better? Sure. <laughs> so, you're not gonna see this unless I make the dress transparent, which I'm probably not gonna do. And let's erase this and see if that looks. That looks. Meh. Let's. Ah, oh, wrong one. Okay, let's make the shoe and the thing visible. They have really baggy pants now that I look at it. Like, super baggy. Mmm, <laughs> they must be really comfortable in these sweatpants. And that's the sketch. Um, in the original piece, I know they had flowy hair because 
they're jumping or falling i don't flying floating they're doing levitation <laughs> so now that my style has become very simple these are how i draw eyes and then i don't draw mouths <laughs> but since we're recreating we gotta draw those anime eyes Ooh, look at them mm. oh <laughs> okay maybe no face for now <laughs> and then let's try to get into flowy hair so once again i don't know anatomy and i am going to just pretend so let's give her some side bangy thingies hopefully trying ah. and a whoop and this is where her hair parts sure so that's her scalp and in the back of the head there right there so that means i gotta have some hair going like there and not the same thing over here but sort of the same thing because i'm not original no that's too wacky just no i want to copy the other side now okay sure so hair is going this way like that and also should I make that small? Yeah, like that. And then you got a little bit of hair there. And then there's gonna be hair in the back as well, flying around. That end over here is a bit too messy <laughs> for my liking. But now that I think about it, it would be messy. So let's add one back. And then her hair is gonna go. One strand's gonna be out here, the rest is gonna be behind the wing. And then the same over here, just one strand going whip in the wind. And this hair is just in the back. Okay, we have her flowy oily hair, which I try to do, but okay, so this is, oh wait, ah, undo, undo, undo. So, which I tried to do, like, her head is here, then her hair is like this. Disc shaping thing. Yes. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Okay. Well, I think I'm done the sketch. And now, I'm gonna line it. So... I'm probably going to time lapse that for you guys, so hope you enjoy. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry that the uh, time lapse wasn't the greatest because I just realized that I wasn't screen recording anymore. So, um, that time lapse that you saw was the one that Adobe Sketch actually can give you when you're done your drawing. I'm gonna screen record again and show you guys what I did. So I had two layers, one was the really rough layer, and one was a line art layer, which still is messy. <laughs> and this is the finished line art. <laughs> and yeah, I don't, <laughs> I'm sort of frustrated <laughs> with the art and really sad that it didn't get to screen record that it was about it felt like 30 minutes but i don't know if it was longer but 
that's how long I spent doing this line art. So my overall review with doing art on this. It's not bad. As I started doing the line around the wings, it became really easier for me to know where I'm gonna draw the line. And I started actually drawing at an angle. I don't know why, but I actually started doing it as if I was using a pencil. So I guess I got really comfortable with it. It just takes quite some time to get used to. But overall, the lines were really smooth. Sometimes it was difficult to place lines in the right place after lifting the stylus and trying to connect it again. When drawing the lines, I did zoom in some to uh, follow my sketch. And then after zooming out and like repositioning, when placing down the stylus again, it did sometimes lose its place. But often times, it was not bad. So I think this stylus is pretty good. I think it was definitely worth my money. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry this video was messy. I am doing this last minute because I'm bad at time management. <laughs> and it's currently ISU season and almost exam season. May. I only have one month left of school and it's scary. <laughs> Well, that's it for now. Once again, if you would like to support the Canadian Cancer Society, the link is down below. Support the UNO team. And if you can't make donation, just check out the website, which will also be in the link or in a card somewhere. Yeah, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. This is MJS signing off. Please don't judge. Ooh.